March ushers in spring in Wisconsin, usually, and a few springtime events in Rock County. Executive Director of the Janesville Area Convention and Visitors Bureau, Christine Rebound, is here to highlight some of her favorites. First, and this is interesting, a look back at sewing and the craftsmanship of those pieces that we used to use back yes. in the day. So fascinating. A sneak peek at the Quilts, Textiles, and Antiques Showing mach Machine display that's over at the Rock County Historical Society. It's March 16th and 17th. They're going to have quilts, quilt turning. They have antique machines and just a look at the craftsmanship of the quilts. There's an amazing badger quilt. Oh, so cool. many beautiful things, historical. They're art pieces, really. And just, I'm a seamstress, so just looking at how those older sewing machines were made, it's just a fascinating peek into history. Do you quilt? I don't quilt, no. Okay, yeah, I do not either, but I'm I'm amazed by it. And I think they're beautiful. Oh, they're, they're pieces of art. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, okay, so that weekend there's a lot going on. So if you're oh not gosh. into sewing and you're into St. Patty's Day, there's the Four Leaf Music Fest and the Shamrock Shuffle. Yes, over at O'Reilly and Conway's that same weekend, that Saturday and Sunday, 16th and 17th. If you like anything Irish, O'Reilly and Conway's is the place to be. Amazing food, just amazing Irish food. Some beer, a little bit of whiskey, uh, the perfect event. The Shamrock Shuffle kicks it off, and then they've got bands all day Saturday and bands all day Sunday. And there's a lot of green and a lot of festivities that are happening. And the run walk is Saturday? Saturday morning. Okay, yeah. so if you want to do that part, and then you can participate yeah, in the music first, and the beer and, and all. And then do the beer yeah, and the whiskey. All the fun. Okay, and okay, and also that weekend, right? So we have all yeah. three choices. There's a rock, gem, and mineral show. This is really cool, too, and you might think, oh, that's not for me, but run Saturday and Sunday, Saturday 9 to 5, Sunday 9 to 4, but the Badger Lapidary and Geological Society has it, and they have kids' events, like, um, you know, they'll have a, a seek, you know, go out and find certain things. They will have uh, jewelry pieces. They will have a uh, fluorescent show. Mm. They have so much to look about. They have all kinds of vendors, kids' activities, speakers, demonstrations, and it's free. So what is it you might not know that you like, Jeff? Right. It's a great family activity because there's no, you don't have to worry if someone doesn't like it because it's free. Right. You yeah. go and you have fun for everyone. And you might find something that you really do like. Exactly. Okay, and finally, and you've got to explain this, there's a way for adults to get in on the fun of the Easter egg hunt. Yes. Over at Timber Hill Winery, they do it right. Saturday the 30th, 10 to 2, there is adult Easter egg hunt. So if you're not such a fan of jelly beans, if uh -huh. you always get the black jelly beans and you're not a fan, what if you could instead get candles and wine oh. and other cool things <laughs> in like your that. Easter eggs? I mean, don't we all, after Easter morning, need right. that little break? So Timber Hill has an amazing adult-themed Easter egg hunt that's all about getting gifts that are for grown-ups. Do you have to sign up for that in advance, or can you I show up? I would recommend up? that you check and see if they still got availability and all okay. of that, because it's going to be pretty darn popular, yeah. and you don't want to have to elbow somebody out for that big uh, That's big fun. <laughs> Christine, thank you. I can't believe we're already talking about March, but I hope you have a great month. Thank you.